1804, January 1st, 1804, Haiti successfully became the first black nation to overthrow their masters and claim their land back. Do you really think, do you really think that as a white person, it is okay to be dibbling and dabbling in Haitian religion? I genuinely would like to know because it's just like, at this point, I believe that this is a symptom of white privilege. Allo, oui, bonsoir. I'm the Mademoiselle, and this is my second channel, and this is Sage. Say hi. Di bonjour. Oh, my bad. It's like nighttime. Di bonsoir, Sage. Uh, follow me on Instagram. I'm telling you, she be mad. She be mad animated. She be talking and shit, but I guess she tired. So, Jodia, we are going to be doing a voodoo story. Now, let me know if you want me to do more of these, especially this month because it is Haitian Heritage Month. And if you guys do not know, on my main channel, I did do a video regarding the regarding the voodoo religion because i just genuinely believe that there is too many common misconceptions and i'm tired of people trying to vilify i'm tired of people trying to villainize it because at the end of the day it is a religion okay regardless of what mainstream media and white supremacy has told you voodoo is not all about hexing people being vindictive worshiping the devil that's definitely not what it is it is a it is a legitimate religion that people practice and it should be regarded as such. So with that being said, today we are going to be talking about Cat Rested. Just to let you guys know going forward, all of this about the story of Caitlyn's death is alleged, okay? Alleged. This is not confirmed. A lot of these are theories and ideas. The voodoo religion though, everything I'm telling you guys about the religion is 100% fact, okay? You can look it up yourself. I may have some things a little off, but it's 100% fact. Now I have to give a special shout out to one of my YouTube homegirls, okay? The Voodoo Child. Now, I know you guys are probably like, okay, bitch, the Voodoo Child, like who is she? Like what she do? Does she do voodoo? She does not, okay? Shimmy Hendrix does have a really popular song called The Voodoo Child and she really likes it, therefore she named herself after that song okay it has nothing to do with the religion and plus if you guys do not know voodoo 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 what ou is literally three different ways that it is spelled and typically when people spell it voodoo v-o-o-d-o-o-o -O 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 -O, the way her name is spelled it is in reference to that song and other things not pertaining to the religion however most people even people who practice it or don't practice it use all different types of spellings like it just depends on the context that you use it in so I have to give a huge shout out to her because she was one of the very um, first people who pointed this story out to me and let me know about this nonsense. And she also did a video on this as well. So I'm going to link down her video in the description or in the pinned comment down below. To let you guys know, if you're one of those super religious people and you know, you are on that. <laughs> This video is not for you. I don't care about the Bible verses you're gonna drop in my comment section. I don't care about the nasty comments I'm gonna get about even talking about the voodoo religion. I don't want anyone praying for me because I'm talking about voodoo at like one o'clock in the morning. I don't want anyone being ignorant in my comment section telling me that I shouldn't be talking about these things. I'm bringing awareness to this topic because a lot of y'all need to understand the bullshit, okay? Voodoo is not an evil religion. Some people do use it for bad, as for every other religion. Everyone wants to sit there and talk about how people who practice voodoo are so evil. They worship the devil and they do all of these bad things to people. However, no one wants to talk about the thousands of years of Christianity and how people love to wave the Bible in the name of the Lord, but slay people in the same motherfucking sentence for not believing in him. So I don't know what's worse. Slaying people because they don't believe in what you believe in or you know practicing a religion that is absolutely legitimate i don't know you motherfucking decide so before you try to be all oh my god lord jesus christ psalms one two three four five xyz please please let me know how many people your religion has killed because it's a fucking lot i said what the fuck i said 
I also, I don't practice voodoo. I, I just I just feel like people should stop being hypocrites and people should learn to appreciate other things and learn how to disagree to agree. Yes, I said disagree to agree because people seem to have a problem with people who don't have the same views as them and that's just really, really toxic. You should be able to look at everyone as your equal. You should be able to respect everyone wholeheartedly even if they don't believe the same thing as you. So just gotta put that out there. So if you guys do not know, this story has been going viral and it is the story of Caitlyn arrested. Caitlyn was from Virginia and she recently died on April 19th of an apparent anxiety attack. Now, as I say anxiety attack, I say anxiety attack because the internet has basically blown this story up, okay? Saying that she died while trying to summon a Haitian voodoo roi, AKA Papa Legba. Now, if any of you guys are familiar with Haitian voodoo, you would know that Papa Legba is not someone you would want to summon, okay? Now, let us just say that this is not confirmed, okay? This is a rumor that has been going around and it has just, and it it, it can just be a legitimate coincidence. Sage, listen, you're gonna have to find a position, okay? It can be a legitimate coincidence or it can be a legitimate occurrence, okay? Now, first things first, no one dies of an anxiety attack. That's absolutely not possible. An anxiety attack can, however, cause some very serious cardiac type of issues that can cause you to die. So technically, your cause of death wouldn't necessarily be anxiety attack. It would more so be like, you know, I would say maybe like heart attack brought on by shock, something like that. It wouldn't really be like, oh, she died of an anxiety attack. I'm pretty sure that wouldn't be like on the cause of death on a coroner certificate. But nonetheless, her cause of death really wasn't stated to the public. Anxiety attack idea was something that was brought to the fore table from people that knew her personally that were commenting on her death online. Now, the reason that people think that this girl died because of voodoo is because of her post. A month or so leading up to her death, she was talking about how she was trying to conjure Loa. You guys have not already guessed it or do not know about the story. Caitlyn is um, a mumla, okay? She is a white woman. This white woman thought that she can summon a voodoo loa, okay? Papa Legba to be exact. Well, it's crazy because Caitlyn actually had a daughter and she's only five months old. They also started a GoFundMe for her and the GoFundMe hit its goal, shit tripled its goal for the most part, like within five hours of being posted, which is crazy. It's like, hmm, where's the money for the little black kids that like just wanna save their baseball teams and their cheerleading squad? I mean, I'm just fucking saying. The point is, it's very, very interesting that she got her goal that fucking quick. It's it's great for the little girl because now they got, you know, a nice little trust fund for her because it's going to be pretty hard for her growing up, you know, without her mom. And it's going to be really, really hard for her growing up seeing that her mom potentially died doing um, voodoo the wrong way. Can you believe that? Can you believe what's going to happen when this little girl grows up and she Googles her, her mom's name? Y'all. That's gonna be interesting. That's why I'm like, you know what? People are dragging this girl. Nonetheless, regardless of how she died, the fact is she did die. And that's messed up. Like I see so many people saying like real fucked up shit. Like, oh, well, she, that's what she get. I mean, RIP though. And I'm just like, y'all petty as hell. That's something you keep like at the table. That's something you talk about like amongst your friends. You don't say shit like that like on the internet where the girl can grow up and look at it, where her family can go and look at it. At the end of the day, no matter how much you don't like someone or don't agree with someone, the fact of the matter is no matter how someone has passed away, you should always respect them. Now, it's crazy because there was someone that came out saying that they did a reading on her after she passed away. And basically they said that they they talked to Papa Legba and Papa Legba actually said that she didn't talk to him, she was talking to Baron, okay? And Baron is the one that killed her. So this is just so much shit. You guys are probably like, who is Papa Legba? Who is Baron? Papa Legba is a loi, but Papa Legba is basically the loi of basically gatekeeping. Papa Legba could be described as like the middleman. He's basically the intermediary between life and death, okay? So he's basically kind of like the gatekeeper. He's also the person that you would summon 
to talk to one of your loved ones who has passed on. Facilitates communication, understanding, and he is also commonly associated with dogs. He is often depicted with a straw hat, a cigar, a cane. Basically stands at the like crossroads and gives permission or denies access to people willing to speak to the other side. And he's usually associated with like St. Peter, St. Lazarus, Babo, a whole another character. Not only is Baron which is, I'm saying it the American way, it's Bawa, okay, Bawa, 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 you get the point, it's Bawa, but I'm gonna say Baron. Bawa, totally different character, bro. Even though, yes, he is associated with death, he's depicted as basically sometimes a skeleton, but like really, really tall, slim, top coat, suit, you know, sometimes his nose are plugged up. You know what, better yet, basically like a Haitian corpse. That's the best way. Like a Haitian corpse ready for a funeral in the casket. Casket ready type of looking dude, okay? He's always drinking rum and he's one of those laws that's like really, really out there. He also is known to have a deep nasally tone type of voice. Really dark glasses and yeah, he's he's that loi that just, he, he be doing the utmost, okay? He's known as the loi that likes to bother the other loi. He loves to smoke, he loves to drink, and he's like rarely ever seen without a cigar. Usually be found at the crossroads of life and death someone passes away he is the one that digs up their grave and basically welcomes them to the dead life and one thing he's really known for is having an obsession with mortal woman yes he he loves mortal woman even though he is married to Momo Brigitte Momo Brigitte is like the caring law she usually cares for the dead spirit thinks she drinks rum with hot peppers and she is often symbolized by a black rooster now if you guys do not know haitian laws are kind of like greek mythology almost like there's families of them like one person is married to this one and this one has a kid called this like this this is a whole thing okay She's usually depicted, you know, as fire or snakes when it comes to people referencing her. She's inspired by many Irish myths and legends. However, she's actually one of the only laws that is African based. She is more so the face of not forgetting those who have passed on. She also helps lost souls find their way to the light. So yeah, as you guys can see, two completely different characters and people are now running with the fact that she was basically trying to summon Papa Legba, but got Baron instead. And regardless of what she did, how she did it, where she did it, whatever the case may be, she is gone now. And it's a really, really sad situation because People just should not be dibbling and dabbling in things that they don't know. Now, regardless if you believe that she died from summoning a voodoo loi, or you believe that it was just a you know coincidence, I genuinely do feel bad for her daughter more than anything. Um, at the end of the day, I don't really feel bad for her because you do what you do and every action has a consequence. But I do feel bad for her daughter and I do feel, feel bad for her friends and family because, you know, now they're grieving and a lot of them didn't get to say goodbye to her properly because, you know, COVID tendencies for funerals during COVID. So that's a really, really sad situation. Now, I'm just going to say this right now because I already know people might come across this video and they're going to feel some type of way about it. I'm going to just say this and I'm going to say it clear i'm gonna say it direct and i'm gonna be concise i am not being racist when i say this okay if anything i'm trying to protect you if you know nothing about haiti let me give you a quick little synopsis haiti is literally one of the first black countries okay they are the only black country that was able to become independent with a slave rebellion 1804 january 1st 1804 haiti successfully became the first black nation to overthrow their masters and claim their land back do you really think do you really think that as a white person it is okay to be dibbling and dabbling in haitian religion i genuinely would like to know because it's just like at this point, I believe that this is a symptom of white fucking privilege. 
I said what the fuck I said. I meant what the fuck I said, and I'll say it again. This is legitimately an example of white fucking privilege. I'm not saying that white people can't do voodoo, but I'm saying that if you are going to do it, you have to do it correctly. If you are going to do it, you have to go do it the proper way. There are things you have to do in order to practice voodoo. It's not like any other religion where you could just, oh, okay, I'm going to walk into this church and go to a Bible study and join the youth group. It doesn't work like that. There are processes to everything when it comes to the voodoo religion. And one thing I do know about the voodoo religion is that contrary to popular belief, people don't go around just summoning Lua. Like that's not something that they do on a regular basis. If anything, that's something you really don't want to really do because you know, you might just die. That's not what the religion is for. It's not for sitting there summoning laws to do things for you. When you really need something, when you really want to talk to them for whatever reasons or personal battles you may be going through, that is when you summon them, but you have to do it correctly. The voodoo religion is not for white people. It's not. And y'all already know I'm one of those people. I'm usually really, really open to everyone embracing everyone's culture. But when it comes to the voodoo thing, I would not do it. Because hands down, it's pretty damn dangerous. When you think about Haiti's history, do you really think the laws would be too keen on seeing Sally trying to summon Papa Legba or Mama Brigitte at any bowl? Like, you think they about to be sitting there like, hello, my white baby, how are you? Welcome to the religion. I genuinely, I can't fathom. Like, if black people, if legitimate black people and legitimate Haitians don't think it's safe to practice voodoo, I don't understand why a white person would. However, let's carry on. From the Twitter, the Facebook, the Instagram posts that I've gathered and I've looked at and I've researched, okay, because I had spent a couple hours looking into this, it seems that basically she was trying to put a hex on her ex-girlfriend who also happened to be black, okay? Now, this is honestly plausible for the simple fact that no matter if you're white, black, pink, green, if you're doing any type of magic, this is not even just voodoo, if you're doing any type of magic, if you're doing any type of magic, if you're doing any type of hexes, if you're practicing any type of religion where you're calling on different deities, spirits, or anything like that, if you're going to do it the wrong way, like if you're going to do it to harm other people, nine times out of ten, it's going to backfire. That's why I find it really, really interesting how people will be sitting there like, oh, someone did voodoo on me, blah, 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 you devil worshippers this, you voodoo this, da, 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 and they always make it seem like a bad thing and make it seem like people are doing voodoo to do negative things to people. You need to understand it's not easy to just use voodoo or use black magic to just do bad shit to people because the more bad things you do to people doing anything, this is not even just magic, doing anything, the more it's going to bounce right back to you. So people do not just sit here throwing hexes on the whole entire world for little shit all damn day because they know it's going to bite them in the ass. So that's one. If you do not have the basic principle of this, then I don't know what the fuck to tell you. You fucking should. I don't know where this girlfriend is. I have not seen no record of this girl. Don't know who she is, what she looked like, or anything. All we know is that she was talking about how she's seen Papa Legba and she was scared. She was talking about how she's a Wiccan, which is very interesting. Being a Wiccan is not the same as practicing voodoo. So I was just like, so are you a Wiccan or do you practice voodoo? I think that was just ignorance on her part and she thought it was all the same. People tend to believe that all black magic is the same. All religions that deal with calling on laws and deities are the same. It's absolutely not. So I think she that was just ignorance, but nonetheless, she did have poppets. Okay, she had poppets that looked like it had human hair attached to it. If you guys do not know what a poppet is, it is a voodoo doll in plain terms. A voodoo doll, a poppet, uh, what's another thing they call it? A something doll? Whatever the case may be. It's called different things in different types of uh, Creole voodoos and stuff like that. And it's very, very interesting because a lot of people seem to think that this comes from Haitian voodoo. It actually does not. The originality of voodoo dolls and poppets or whatever actually came from European black magic. 
and it was adopted into um, the voodoo and other Creole religions. So that's a fun fact. Can't find a girlfriend. And I mean, I know she had a girlfriend because there were posts of her talking about her girlfriend. So I'm just like, okay, the girl hasn't come forward. She hasn't said anything with reason because this is a pretty viral story and I'm sure she doesn't want to get caught in the crossfire. And I'm very sure she doesn't want to explain why her ex-girlfriend may have potentially be doing voodoo on her. That's kind of crazy. Honestly, if I were her, I probably wouldn't ever, ever, I would, I probably wouldn't say anything either. Like the issue here is not the fact that she was practicing voodoo. It's the issue of she was practicing voodoo to do bad onto another person. You do not do that. Karma is a bitch. Okay. Point blank period. And then you try to do it as a white woman to a black woman. If that ain't white privilege, I don't know what is. That's just wrong. At the end of the day, our loi, okay, our loi don't fuck with that shit, okay? They don't fuck with people doing bad shit to other people, and they definitely don't fuck with white people just dibbling and dabbling, and they really don't fuck with people who don't even do the shit the right way, dibbling and dabbling. There were people who were like, you know, basically trying to defend the loi, saying like, you know, our loi wouldn't do that, our loi this, our loi that, and it's funny because most of them were like, not even black people, and I'm just like, our loi? Listen, y'all can have the braids, y'all can have the lingo, y'all can have the clothes, but what you're not gonna do is claim our loi, our spirits, our ancestors, our deities. That's what you're not going to fucking do, bro. Like, that shit infuriated the hell out of me. And now I've seen that there's this, this this trend of like witch talk, okay? Like there's like witches on TikTok and they're acting like they're buddy buddy with these laws. They're like, oh, oh you know, get any boy help me pick out my fucking Starbucks today. Oh, Brigitte told me to wear yellow to the mall. What? Like, I hate it here. I really hate it here. Cause what the fuck? This is lit this is what you call white privilege. This. This right here is what's called right privilege. For you to think that you could do something like this and get away with it, if she did in fact die because of her doing voodoo, I'm not gonna say she deserves it because that's fucked up. But I am gonna say that every action has a consequence, period. Because that's what people need to understand. You can't just do whatever the fuck you want and not expect shit to happen, whether it's good or bad. Everything you do has a consequence. With that being said, here's a word for my sponsor. <laughs> me if you guys did not know i do have a merch store for y'all okay it is brand new it is my bomba guy outside okay make sure you go down in the description or in the pinned comment down below and get your merch today okay we got a few designs more coming soon i designed all of these if you have any design ideas make sure you hit me up in my email i will surely consider them i would like to know what you guys feel down in the comment section below do you guys think that she was summoning Loa? do you guys think that it was just a coincidence and do you think that people of other nationalities ethnicities or whatever the case may be should practice other people's religions because personally i don't understand why it is that when it comes to black shit we just can't never have nothing like you don't see me out here trying to call on native american deities or call on greek gods and goddesses like it just doesn't really make sense to me how when it comes to black people what people always like oh well anyone can do it like why don't y'all do something else why y'all gotta call on our shit like we could never have anything like that really really bothers me but let me know what you feel or what you think about the story down in the comment section below make sure you get your merchandise like share subscribe do all that and i'm gonna see y'all next